right. So um, the Washington Printmakers Gallery has been created um, 28 years ago uh, by a group of printmakers. Um, the goal was to um, promote printmaking. Uh, Washington Printmakers Gallery is a co-op. It means that every single artist participates uh, to the um, uh, management of the gallery. They all have a, a task. We all pay a due, dues, sorry, every month. And then we all have a, a, a month where we can have a solo exhibit. My name is Donna Cameron. I'm a multimedia artist and filmmaker, and I live in Arlington and Brooklyn, New York. And I am here at the Washington Printmakers Gallery, a fabulous community um, and commercial art gallery and workshop studio school. And this is my solo show. All the pieces are very different, and they all have different meanings to me personally um, and they I guess begin with the Venetian piece at one end there some of them are um, generative systems some of them are film based some of them are paper so my image is um, strong it's unique to me it but it's something I feel that people can align themselves with. So when you come into it, they are projections of, of a tactile consciousness, which we share, all people share. The senses are involved in perceiving and experiencing the imagery. This piece is called Fern Waterfall, and it echoes and um, expresses the idea of ABCD rolling in film when you are dissolving and intercutting scenes and sections. If you notice, there's a kind of a pattern and a rhythm. And as your eye reads the image, which our eyes read images, they don't just, they read it no matter how much they're stopped or moved. Um, you have a sense of water falling. You have a sense of the staccato and the rhythm and the kind of melody of water as it hits different objects as it falls. Um, I do particularly love working with biomorphic form, so I'm very close to the fern imagery, um, which I paint with silver nitrite on clear celluloid, and then um, expose with a film projector, then process like photography, and I'm always mystified that with all the detritus of the forest I put on the emulsion, the fern retains its chlorophyll and these greens in this, the grays are the silver nitrite of black and white photography, which I hand paint, you can see the brush strokes. But this particular process fascinates me because it is, has a multiplicity of sources and it gives a, a kind of sense of the movement and passage of time through the patternings of not just the form of the fern, which is very lovely and ancient, but the fact that the green survives all that chemistry and every other piece of leaf or flower, even oak, acorns and oak leaves that are so strong and mighty turn brown or silver or gray, but the fern remains green. So these are not painted colors, this is nature. And the other biomorphic form I have in this particular show is the surfboard, which is a play on the design of a fish, which is very speedy and very fast, which has also inspired um, engineers who um, design engines and things that need to be propelled and move quickly. Also working with different substrates and recycling them is important. My emulsion I started by recycling 
old newspapers and prints, but everything we can do to reduce our footprint is important. So that's part of the message of this exhibit within the poetics of the imagery. I hope that people will feel happy, will feel connected and exhilarated. So when you move into a picture, especially, not always, but usually a large picture that surrounds you, you feel aligned to what the artist is expression, expressing. And in each of these, I'm expressing a moment um, in time that I've experienced that is particularly meaningful and exhilarating and gives me contemplation or um, a way to step into a higher state, a meditative state.